Hello everybody. Uh, so in this uh, little video session, I'm going to show you uh, a little bit about how to load the the um, alignment data in the Nexus format and convert the the alignment file into the um, mega format and how to do some very basic stuff like phylogenetic tree and uh, different analysis so let's get started so first of all as i told you in the last uh, zoom discussion we need to open the mega file and uh, as you see in the mega you have different types of uh, anal analysis tabs uh, different options you can do alignments uh, and you have different models you have distance uh, compute, computational uh, analysis you can measure the nucleotide diversity between the populations and different groups and you can uh, use a, a tree to to analyze different types of even this software is, can also display some phylogenetic tree as well and um, some other analysis that is mutation rate and clock that we are going to use in this project so first of all uh, as uh, some of you guys have some uh, challenges to to load the nexus file into the mega file and how to do this and if you are having trouble with your computer low memory because the alignments may be uh, bigger that's why we need to create a mega file in order to do it more quickly and more faster however if somebody has uh, uh, even uh, they, they face some difficulties to load the files then i would recommend the, the computer lab um, in the war room so uh, let's first take an example from the view data let's uh, uh, in this file you go to the file and you have the farm uh, this option convert fo convert file format to mega so let's uh, click on this and when you click on this you have open uh, this uh, little uh, window which uh, says data file to convert you click on this uh, folder icon and you 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 are going to uh, have in your computer navigate in your computer where your data file is in my case i'm going to to use example of view alignments data so let's start the view alignment uh, and load the 16s ribosomal rna alignment nexus file when you open uh, this file you will see this uh, data format in you you see none so you are going to to pick the um, where this is you are going to put the the data as uh, as maybe none and let's see oh so, sorry i will do it again view alignments 16 is ribosomal RNA and you are going to see Nexus so this is this is the the option that you are you you are not going to to see the uh, to to click on none because it will show the the file error so click on the Nexus proceed to the OK and then uh, yes you are you have this option opens that save the file as so it is already converted your nexus file to the mega format and you can see from the extension of the file name do not change this to other uh, other name because otherwise it will not work so in this case you are going to 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 see the dot e m e g this is very important to 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 put this is like this and i recommend to use uh, the same folder where your data input file was in this case my file was already in the view alignments folder so i'm going to save this file in the view alignment yeah. and as this is going to to save the for file for conversion complete you are going to see this option just click ok and here you can see that you you already uh, convert your alignment file to the mega file and uh, if you see the uh, the format 
you are going to um, uh, on the, this, the file already contain the alignments as you see from for each of the, the sequence. You are going to close this uh, and uh, go to the main menu and now I'm going to to do the uh, phylogenetic tree ana analysis. So let's uh, uh, construct a maximum likelihood and um, a neighbor joining tree. I'm just in, in this basic tutorial. I'm just going to to show you how to to do this now. Uh, click on the maximum likelihood tree. Uh, go to the folder where the data where you save the data for the the mega file. Click on the view alignments and here just put the the FASTA from dot mega this is important because otherwise the 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 file will not appear in your window so when i click the the mega file it will appear in in this window and i click here and i click open and this uh, is already loaded in the mega file and to construct the phylogeny uh, phylogeny reconstruction you 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 need to consider different models and different parameter i am just going to leave it as a default because you can think more about your sequence analysis by studying and by uh, knowing how these uh, algorithms work click okay and now it's computing the this maximum likelihood tree uh, as you can see the bar that is showing you the progress and some different analysis that this program is going to consider uh, i hope it will finish soon and after it finish i will get uh... okay so let's wait for a few moments okay <clears throat> I, I hope that it's going to come to finish in a few minutes because this file is not so big from view data otherwise I was computing this phylogenetic tree for gift a few days before so uh, as you see that we already have the phylogeny of the the 16 s ribosomal RNA from the uh, view uh, this uh, species and you can see that um, uh, the, the phylogeny has been constru constructed but it doesn't look so uh, so fancy of course you can do a lot of analysis to compute the t uh, like uh, divergence time for the actio using a tree you can uh, make different uh, shape of the tree like different um, uh, topologies uh, you can make it into a circle uh, but for 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 the um, the tree I, I would recommend another program to to make it a more better version of the tree for publication quality I will show you how so how now the the question is how to to export this tree as a file and use this into another software for another analysis or maybe to to edit the trees and to 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 edit the colors of the different clay uh, branches so just go to the file and uh, you are going to 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 show this uh, here save the current tree session uh, let's see if it is so it is already uh, if you want to to continue from this session and you are busy you can save your uh, session as a mega tree session or maybe you would like to just uh, um, save this tree as a uh, as a file so l l let me uh, do this for um, uh, uh, one moment Here you are going to to see the different option and when you click on this you you are going to uh, see the export current tree in NIVIC format so let's save this tree and click branch length uh, click this open and you see that your tree has been formatted into NIVIC format and you can save this uh, this file in the same folder uh, NIVIC export uh, 
dot uh, nwk or you can change the file name to 16s ribosomal rna view dot nwk so uh, let's save this file and uh, let's i'm going to show you that how to open this in the iotol format uh, let's google uh, a program that is called iotol phylogenetic tree and this is a web based uh, program which is very uh, nice uh, it's very easy and you give a very fancy figure of your phylogenetic tree and you can make some nice figures of your phylogeny uh, and you can make a lot of editing and colors changes so um, just to make it very simple uh, click on upload a tree and here you are going to give a name like example.test for example you are going to browse and here it, it browse into the same directory uh, if you if not you can navigate into your own directory where you have saved your tree file in the dot nwk format that is called nivik format so open the nivik format and upload and when you upload this you are going to see your tree in, the, in this new software so uh, if you see you have a lot of options here normal uh circular unrooted you can also make the 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 labels that that you see in different uh formats i would i prefer uh, the tips uh you can also make the the branch length uh more more clear like you see here and you can also change the the font size of the these uh, the labels to make it more uh, more uh, clear of course you can also do like when you you click on a, a specific clade for example this is a specific clade you you click on this and you go to the color and set this color uh, uh, into different for example i make this uh, a red color i make this uh, this clade is uh, green for example and you can you can do a lot of things and in fact and uh, if you not prefer the circular you can also have a normal view like this even you can change the 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 um, uh, label uh, of this for example you have a species name uh, let's let's see here you can see label and edit uh, let's say for example if you are if you have this a uh, uh, species uh, of fish for example uh, this one is for example uh, uh, so uh, edit like for example or I, ju I just give a, a, a simple name to to show you as example that you can also change the the name of the the label and the sequences that you of course you are not going to use the sequence name that you downloaded from ncbi because it's gonna make confusion so i think better you just put it as a common name of the species or other or the biological name of this and if you don't want to do a like uh um, if some tree have a lot of leaves and there is a lot of confusion you can also make it clear by deleting uh, this specific uh, tree so you can say delete leaf and this already deleted your your leaf if you want more you can do like this and when you uh, have done your format uh, this software has a lot of options to to edit the um, the the phylogenetic tree for uh you are publishing quality or the way you want the, the colors that you want the 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 size of the the branch length and the editing of the the leaves uh, and different topologies of course so uh, when you are done with this you can export your tree uh, in different formats uh, you you i prefer svg because i can make uh, still make editors editing 
in my pro uh, my figure but you have pda ping uh, and also even the the tree formats are right there so in this tutorial i just was show wanted uh, I, I wanted you to show the the loading of the files and the conversion of the different file formats and how to make a simple phylogenetic tree and of course you in in your projects you are uh, going to do many things that um, maybe we discuss later so i hope you um, enjoy this tutorial and enjoy working with the the phylogenetic analysis see you bye bye